What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 12.1.3 developer beta 3. So it's been about three weeks, nearly three weeks since Apple has released any type of beta software. So this comes long after beta 2, which was of course the first beta in 12.1.3. Since 12.1.2 had to be pushed out super quick, 12.1.3 started off with beta 2. But today we have beta 3 and you can see right here it comes in at a very small 141.4 megabytes here on my iPhone 10R which did come from 12.1.3 beta 2. And of course, I don't get any kind of information here on the change log. It just says contains bug fixes and improvements, which is pretty much all this beta software is, beta 3 here. So let's go and take a look at the build number because that is pretty much the only thing that has changed here in beta 3. It's 16D5037A. And if I were to guess, this is going to be the last beta before the GM build. So I'd imagine next week, we're probably going to have the GM and then probably the following week, we're gonna have the final release of 12.1.3. But yeah, as far as changes or any kind of new features or anything, there's absolutely nothing changed here in 12.1.3 beta three. It's just a lot of backend bug fixes, probably some security enhancement, but it's probably just a lot of bug fixes, just polishing up the software before the GM and then eventually the final release. Now, one thing that I've really tried to recreate with 12.1.3 and I haven't been able to because I hope it has been patched now and fixed in 12.1.3 is the airplane mode bug, which I showed you guys in my video on 12.1.2, where I said basically don't update to it. There's a lot of problems with it. And I showed off this bug right here. Basically, you could see that I am not in airplane mode, but when I go out and go to the home screen, it shows airplane mode in the top. You can see that when I pull down the control center, it doesn't show it. But when I go to the home screen, it actually shows airplane mode. And when I go into any kind of application or into settings or anything, it'll show airplane mode even when I'm not in airplane mode. And this was on the final release of 12.1.2. This bug was not on a beta. It was on the final release of 12.1.2. And I've really tried to recreate that in multiple different ways here on 12.1.3 and I have not been able to. So I'm hoping that that bug has officially been fixed here in 12.1.3. But of course I will be testing that when the final release comes out to let you know for sure if it has been patched or not. Now so far the battery life seems about the same as 12.1.2 which isn't really good. I mean it's not been great for me at all on 12.1.2 especially on the 10s Max. It was a little bit better on the 10R when I was on 12.1.2 uh, but 12.1.3 seems about the same as 12.1.2 but once again, things could change once it does get out of beta, once we get to the final release of 12.1.3. So just stay tuned. I will be doing some extensive testing to see basically if the battery life is better than 12.1.2 because I did make multiple videos talking about how bad the battery life was on 12.1.2. So I want to make another video, you know, maybe multiple videos comparing the battery life on 12.1.3 to 12.1.2 to see if Apple actually listened and fixed whatever was causing that battery drain, which I assume is coming from something to do with eSIM. So if you guys have installed 12.1.3, let me know how it's been treating you down in the comment section below, especially beta three. If you've tried it out, let me know if you found anything new or if any bug fixes seem to be appear for you. So I know a lot of people were having issues with connectivity and Wi-Fi. It seems like every beta, there's somebody having an issue with that. So if you are having that issue right now, I would go ahead and update to this 12.1.3 beta three and see if it does fix it. And of course, let me know down in the comment below if it did fix that for you. But as of right now, I don't have any issues at all on my iPhone 10 It's running very smoothly. I'm very impressed and satisfied with my iPhone 10 on even the beta releases. Pretty much every beta release has been very solid here on the 10 R. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for 12.1.3 beta three. Of course, not much changed at all, but I did just want to make this video. You guys know I like making these videos, even if there's nothing really that has changed just to keep you guys updated with everything that Apple does release, because this could be a big deal to some people. Maybe it's not a big deal to you, but to some people knowing that this was released and running through it and everything could have them upgrade their phone, update their phone and potentially fix some bugs for them. So I like to make these videos for that very reason. So hope you guys did enjoy it again, very quick, not much changed at all. If you did enjoy it though, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other future beta videos. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.